Hey guys, we're finishing up uh, another interesting week. You know, we've had some in-house fighting with the Republican Party. Uh, at the same time, we've seen the Democrats doing this whole partisan push. We, we, we saw uh, uh, President Biden stand up and, and say that he was about unity and he was going to bring the parties together and he was going to bring America together, unify the country again. And what we've seen is him going at it alone with executive orders, where he's issued more executive orders than Obama and Trump combined. Combined. And they're devastating to our economy. It's all about peasing the Enviro Group. I mean, killing the Keystone Pipeline when there's been billions of dollars investing, immediately, directly killing 2,000 jobs and indirectly killing at least that many or more. We've seen him uh, join the Paris Climate Accord again, which is going to kill um, up to 4,000 or more manufacturing jobs because it puts us at a disadvantage. We've seen him go down the line and destroy the oil and gas industry. Why? What are you going to replace it with? The hypocrisy that's coming out of this administration is like something we've never seen before. In fact, the whole Democrat Party Many of you guys have probably been hearing about Marjorie Greene and, and their attack against her, wanting to remove her from committees for something she said before she was even in Congress. But they wanted to look a different way on Maxine Waters for her inciting violence. They want to look a different way when Omar and Cortez and Tlaib say the most horrific things possible. But hey, it's not about us. It's about what we tell you to do not what we actually do ourselves. All it is is they're trying to put up a smoke screen and forget about actually their agenda to socialize this country. Guys, as a country, we're not a socialist country. We're a democracy. We're a republic. We're for the people, by the people. Not a ruling class like the Democrats are trying to do to us right now. We're about getting up each day and pulling our boots up and going to work, and, and the entrepreneurial spirit that drives this economy, not about the heavy hand of the government. Guys, we can't afford to lose this fight because the generation behind us is watching. We've got to stand up. We've got to unify and fight together against the heavy hand of the Democrat Party. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America.